Here we have the Asus 12X Blu-ray external burner BW-12D1S-U light. So we're going to do a little unboxing today. Opening up the box reveals a smaller box. This is where the cables reside. And I'm going to open that up, show you what's in it. We've got three different cables. We've got the power brick because this drive has to be plugged into the to an outlet, electrical outlet. You can't just use the power from the computer. And then this cord is your USB cord that goes from the drive to your computer. And then this goes from the power brick to the electrical outlet. All right, now let's take the foam off of the main drive and see what it looks like. Oh, there's a little instruction manual. Comes with some software uh, if you want to use it. I didn't even use it myself. It's plug and play ready. So anyway, let's take the foam off and that's what it looks like. Kind of a quirky design. Lots of sharp angles. That's the back. And just sort of showing you all around what it looks like. Very piano black shiny on the front. Okay, here's the back again. And this is where the cords go into. That's they plug the power cord in there. And then the USB cord gets plugged in there. And this end will go into the computer. Okay, there it is. Getting it's plugged into the USB port right there on the computer. On the back, there's this on-off switch. So make sure you cut that to on for it to work. A little blue light will come on. And here I am installing the device. The device Windows 7 recognizes device. The device installs the the driver software automatically. Press that's the eject button. Ejects like that. So I'm putting in the software disk that came with it just to check it out. And that that's what came up on the screen. I read through the directions. I don't need any of that stuff installed on it on my computer because I'm just going to be using this my video pinnacle studio 18 ultimate or 19 I'm sorry 19 ultimate uh, video editor software to burn the blu-ray disc so that's what I'm doing authoring the disc it's burning now A little light blinks on it down there on the right when it's working and It'll eject it when it's done. Export completed. <clears throat> I'm going to take the disc and stick it in my PS4. It's connected to a bigger TV. Slightly bigger. And see if it worked. And sure enough, it worked. Uh, turned out pretty good. Video quality and all. Uh, just some sample footage I took in the backyard real quick. Nothing fancy there. Just making sure it works. Dimensions, it, it does take up pretty large footprint on the table. Got 10 inches by about 6.5 by about, it's about 2 inches tall. So you might want to consider you got enough table space for it. So in conclusion, it's a great little Blu-ray recorder. I was using these discs here to record with, but uh, I ended up not even installing the, any of the software. It's just plug and play. Just plug it in, use my video editing software, burns the Blu-ray. 
Uh, no problems. Real fast. Doesn't cost that much. Give it a thumbs up.